guys, so in this video I want to try something a little bit different. I'm going to be reading you some Latin passages that I have. I am a classical studies major at my university, which deals with Greek and Roman mythology, culture, history, all that sort. And one of the requirements for the major is to take some Latin, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to be reading you some passages, just to give you a feel. And I have it in my textbook. As you can see, it's a bit worn down, but it still serves its purpose. Latin, second edition, by Susan C. Chalmardine. And what I really like about this textbook is not the book itself, but the cover. In one, one semester, I took Greek, Roman, Greek and Roman mythology. We learned all about the different types of gods and goddesses there. And one of the gods that we learned about was Dionysus. He was the Greek god of wine and pleasure. So, this particular picture got me interested because in my Pompeii class I'm currently taking, there's a mural that has this picture. And this picture is a step-by-step -step was believed to be a step-by-step -step initiation for the cult of Dionysus. His cult, or his group, is a very interesting one, and that will be for another time in another video. So, I'm going to open it now, and I'm going to pick a passage. Cantos Milites ad custodium non in bella solum sed etiam in pace habuit. O Romulum herbs Roma valuit et quadraginta anus pacem habuit posquam ille discessit. Titus Livius Fabilam de Morti Romulae narrowit. Cum Romulus contionum in campo martio habebat, subito fuit tempestas cum magno fragore et denso regem celavit nimbo. Et populus timuit, ubi post tempestatum lux erat, humani Romulum non iterat, nec deinde in terris Romulum fuit. Fruit, populus in campo lancet diu enem dolebat tandem omnes omulum deum habuerat. This was written by the author Livy, and he is just talking about Romulus, who was the founder and the first king of the city of Rome, and he's basically describing 
Romulus and his success as a leader, and how he was able to bring an end, well, his miraculous end, I suppose, in the Campus Martius in Rome. That's just a brief summary. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Squam Romani et Albani Utrimque Stabant Cum Paucis Militum et Medium Ducis Procedant Tum Albanus Dux Dicit Cupido Imperi Duos Populus ad Arma Stimulant Sed Etresca Res Quae Circa Non Teque Est Polet Iam cum signum pugnat dabis, hi militis pugnabunt erfesi erant, tum etrusci pentant, et utrisque nostrum vincentur. Itaque sine unto sanguine, utriusque populi dicerni potes? Tulus, quam quam victoriae acur, erat consentit? Et ratio inventor, qui fortuna praebuit materia. This is also written from the same author, Livy, and he's talking about how the Romans and the Albans decided to settle a war that they had between themselves through battle sought by through battle fought by two sets of triplets, which were the Horati and the Karati. I apologize if you heard that. That's my roommate. I think she's doing the laundry. So, I'm going to read one more. Medicare tuos desiste capillos, tingere quam potes iam tibi nola coma est. Qui es coma tam longa, tam poqua? Nec tamen ater erat neque erat tamen oius ile sed quamus neuter mixtus uterque colon. Et centum flexibus acti, et tibi noris causa dolores erant. Quam se praebuerant ferro, patienter et igni clamabam, scelas est illos, scelas urere crines. Nuc tibi captivos mitet germania crines. Tuta triumphatae munere gentis eris. 
saibe comas alquo laudante bebes et dices emta nuc ego mace laudare. This one is a poem written by Ovid and he is adopting the voice of a lover who is scolding his girlfriend. She, in this poem, supposedly bleached her hair, and due to that, she is losing her hair. Women's beauty standards were a little bit different back then. They believe that the paler you look, the more beautiful you are, because the paler you were showed that you had no need to work showing that you were of wealth. They also had many different activities that they had to partake in for beauty, such as the makeup process, the perfume process, the hair, jewelry, clothes. But that's for another day. If you're interested, leave a comment in the comment sections below. If you would like to hear about the culture of Pompeii, or if you want to learn more about Greek Roman myth mythology, and I'll be more than happy to do one of those because that is my major after all, and I'm very interested in it. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different. I'm gonna have to get some nails because the nails are currently gone. That's what happens when you have exams every other week. Stress. have a wonderful day or afternoon or evening or night and thank you guys who have subscribed to me I appreciate it a lot considering that I don't know what I'm doing so that's all for now and I hope you guys have